Does your iPad constantly beep with notifications from all your applications? Well, I'm going to show you how to change how those notifications appear, how they sound, or you can turn them off for each individual app. My name is Ethan. I'm a tech at Micro Center. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is touch settings, and then you want to touch notifications on the left. Now you'll see all the applications you have installed on the right. I'm going to be using messages as an example, but all the application notifications will pretty much be the same except a minor difference. So when you're ready, just touch the app you want to change, and then on the right hand side you'll see all the options you can change. The first one's the notification center. If you turn this off, there will be no notifications from that particular app. The second one is show. If you change this, this will change how many application notifications will show up at each individual time. If you keep it to five, that basically means you will only see five messages at a time. Once new ones come in, the fifth one will drop off. The third one is alert style. This is going to change how the application will appear on the screen. The first one is alerts. This basically is that normal everyday box that pops up in the middle of the screen. The second one is banners. This is a drop down menu off the top of the screen that just simply shows you what happened and then it will disappear after a second. Or you can turn that off completely by just touching none. The next option is badge app icon. This is the top right little red circle that has a number on it that tells you how many notifications you've missed of a particular app. So let's say you had 80 new email messages, a little red 80 will be at the top right corner of that mail app. The next one is tone. Now this one says text tone, but it might say calendar alert or something like that. This is going to change how that application will sound when a notifi notification appears. I'm going to touch it to show you how many options you have. You can change it to any, any alert sound you want. If you want to turn it off, just simply touch none at the top. The next one is show preview. This basically means that it's going to show you the message or show you the email that pops up with the notification. If you turn it off, it'll only tell you who it's from and when it happened. The next one is repeat alert. This is going to be how many times it notifies you of that particular notification. So if you get a message, if you have an alert once, after a certain amount of time, it's going to alert you again to that message. You can change this by touching on it and you can see all the options. You can also turn it off by touching never. The next option is show iMessage alerts from. This is specific to iMessage and you can change it to my contacts only or everyone. It's up to you. Next one is view in the lock screen. This basically means that when you turn off the iPad, when you try to unlock it, you'll see those alerts on the main screen. If you turn it off, there won't be any alerts when you try to unlock it. I would recommend you turn it off for applications you don't really want to see because if you have a lot of messages that you want to get to real quick, the other applications will cloud up the lock screen. So I would keep it on for iMessage or email, but turn it off for other games that you really don't play too much. Once you're finished, just touch the notifications and then you can move on to the next application. If you have any other questions, you can check us out at www.microcentertech.com or you can jump on our chat at chat.microcentertech.com.